हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू अगेन ऑन योर ओन चैनल साइंस क्लासेस एंड एज यू नो यस्टरडे वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट द फ्रिक्शन एंड इट्स कॉजेज बट टुडे टॉपिक इज द टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड हाउ दिज आर रिलेटेड टू फ्रिक्शन देर आर मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन the kinetic friction and the static friction kinetic is related with motion while the static is related with the rest so let us discuss about this the static friction the static friction it occurs when a force is applied to an object but this object does not move it means that this type of friction acts where the object is at rest means suppose any object is kept on a face any horizontal surface or any surface at that time the frictional force due to which it is at rest that frictional force is said to be the static friction which is acting against its motion and due to that static fr friction this object remains at rest means this is the type of friction which is applied on the object which are kept at the rest and because of this friction the object does not change its position does not move as you can see in this figure in this figure a boy is trying to push a heavy box the weight of the box is given 32 kg and the force which is applied by the boy is of 21 newton and as you can see the box does not change its position it does not move because the force which is applied by the boy is less than the frictional force which is acting between the ground and the box so we can say that it is an example of static friction now let us try to understand this with an activity in this activity it has been shown that a box is kept on a ground when a force of f unit is applied on the box to change its position then the static friction is also of f unit as you can see in the figure first part means if f unit of force is applied against the box then the force which is applied as a frictional force is also of the f unit and in the second figure of this activity it has been shown that when the two f unit of force are applied on the box then the force which is acting in the form of static friction is also of the two f units it means that the static friction changes its value with the force applied when the force is f unit the static friction is also f unit the, when the force is two f unit then the static friction is also two f unit suppose we apply three units of force three newton of force then again three newtons of a static frictional force will also act but this static frictional force will have some limit and as we cross that limit then the object will starts to move so that this frictional force is also known as the self adjusting frictional force means static friction is also said to be the self adjusting frictional force because it can adjust its value according to the external force applied on the object but up to a certain limit only as soon as the certain limits change means the certain limits is overcome by the external applied force the object comes into motion from rest so from this discussion we can say that static friction acts only when the object is kept at rest and static friction is said to be a self adjusting frictional force one more definition is given there in the figure you can note down the definition from this figure that when a force is applied on an object to move it but does not move as the force applied it is balanced by the force of static friction now we have one question and the question is that what is limiting friction so as you have just seen that the object at rest when 
maximum force is applied on it to overcome the force of friction then it comes into motion so the maximum value of the static friction by overcoming which the objects come in motion from rest that maximum value of the static friction is known as the limiting friction so keep this point in your mind this is very important question now let us look that what is kinetic friction this kinetic friction is the friction which acts between the two moving surfaces or one moving surface and another surface which is at rest means whenever there is a relative motion between an object which is at rest and another object which is in motion or the two objects which are in motion then the frictional force acts between them is said to be the sliding friction and this sliding friction is actually acts when the force exceeds the value of the limiting friction means when the limiting friction is overcome then object comes into motion and when the objects are in motion at that time the frictional force acting between the object and the surface is actually the sliding friction under which the object slides over the another surface we can also see the minimum force required to make a body just to slide over the surface is called the sliding friction once a body starts sliding the sliding friction is reduced it is less than the static friction and it is the rubbing of the bodies in the sliding contact let us take an example when a person is skiing through on the mountain then it is a sliding friction clearly we have seen lots of examples in our day to day life that whenever any object slides over the surface of the another object then at that time the frictional force acts between them is said to be the sliding friction now let us try to understand it with an activity in this activity we need to take a wooden block and we have to place it near the one edge of the table top as you can see in the figure now keep a cylindrical pencil or rod on the opposite edge of the table top with the help of the drawing pins means we have to fix the pencil on the table top with the help of the drawing pins now make sure that the pencil is free to rotate about its axis as shown in the figure next take the plastic lid of a jar any jar and make three systematic holes in it put the three pieces of string through the holes and tie them together next tie them to a longer string from which we can suspend the plastic lid freely and tie the other end of the longer string to the wooden block such that it passes over the pencil means we have to tie three things together the first one is the block the second one is pencil and the third one is jar means the lid but we have to take care that the pencil should not be fixed in such a manner that it become an obstacle obstacle for the movement of the block means the block should be free to move with the help of the pencil now we have to take some marbles or stones and we have to keep these marbles in the plastic lid one by one until the wooden block starts just slide note down the number of marbles required suppose the number of marbles required is 5 or 6 means at when we put down the six marbles in the lid then the box it just starts to slide it means that the force applied by the six marble on the block is overcoming its static friction and now the block is under the sliding friction and it starts to slide over the table top now once the wooden block begins to slide take out some marbles from the plastic lid what will happen if we take out some of the marbles from the plastic lid then we may observe that is even after the removing of one or two marbles from the plastic lid the box is continue to be in motion it shows that 
द स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन इज लेस दैन द स्टेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिकॉज हियर वी आर अप्लाइंग लेस फोर्स बट स्टिल द वुडन ब्लॉक इज कंटिन्यूड इन मोशन सो वी कैन से दैट इन द फर्स्ट केस वेन द ब्लॉक जस्ट बिगिन टू स्लाइड द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज द लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ द फोर्स ऑफ द स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन वंस द ब्लॉक बिगिन्स टू स्लाइड द फ्रिक्शन दैट एग्जिस्ट इज स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन मीन्स इन द फर्स्ट केस वेन देर वेर मार्बल्स इन द लीड एंड द block was at rest at that time the frictional force acting was the static friction but when we keep the marbles in the lid and it starts to slide at that time the force of friction which is acting between the table top and the block is the sliding friction when two or three marbles are gently removed from the plastic lid the tray sorry the block will still keeps on sliding and moves to the other end of the table top which shows that always the sliding friction is slightly less than the static friction so hence we conclude that static friction is always more than the sliding friction clear now move to our next point the next point is rolling friction as its name suggest rolling friction is a kind of friction which acts when one object rolls over the surface of the other object we often see on bus stand railway platforms and airports that even small children are able to carry along their suitcase easily if they are fitted with the wheels how does it happens it happens because of the force of rolling friction which is acting between the ground and the object which is continued in motion to understand this rolling friction let us go through this activity activity number 5 here you can see that a wooden block is kept over the table top but between the table top and the wooden block there are some pencils and the wooden block is kept on the pencils and this pencil as you know can rolls over the surface of the table top easily so we have to perform this so for performing of this activity we have to take few pencils which are cylindrical in shape and we have to place them parallel to each other on the table top now we have to place a wooden block over them as shown in the figure and we have to perform the steps which we have previously performed in the last activity we have to tie it with the help of the pencil which is fixed at one end of the table top and with a lead and again we have to keep some stones marbles in in this lead we will observe that here in this case to move the block easily we need a less number of the marbles and we can easily observe that it is much easier to roll than to slide a body over a given surface we have seen a lots of examples in our daily life on a railway platform or bus stop we often notice that small children can easily pull a suitcase fitted with the wheels so it is because of the reduced friction that makes it easy for the child to pull along the suitcase so it is now to appreciate why laborers preferring prefer placing logs under heavy machine or objects while moving them from one place to another so now we can define the rolling friction is the force of friction that comes into play when one body rolls over the surface of another body and it is always less than the sliding friction so here we have a task static fill in the blank sliding and fill in the blanks rolling and you have to fill it that which one is more which one is less as compared to others so thanks for watching please like subscribe my channel and always watch the video till the end